the homie Tyler Butler from the Enough with the BS podcast, and he's also CEO of the Sports and Culture Sports Media Outlet. Uh, Tyler, man, thanks for uh, you know spending another few minutes with us, and um, we were talking about this, the Sean Watson case and how it stands up to this point, and you got some information that you want to share with us on the the Sean Watson case. So go ahead and you know give us the spill and let me know what you think. Absolutely, man. And, and thank y'all again for giving me the time. I appreciate it. I just know um, it, it's a lot of key information that I want to make sure everybody get out. Um, you could, yeah, it is. Uh, there's a CBS sports analyst I've been following, um, just getting information from her. A lot of the other stuff that I'm going to share came from like black sports online where they were sharing the screenshots. Uh, but what I was trying to figure out was a breakdown of how can they pan to Sean Watson with this sex trafficking? Because mm-hmm. if you looked at the Tony Busby interview that he had, he bought out a lady who was like an expert in sex trafficking, but they wouldn't say his name. Like they wouldn't technically say Deshaun Watson was tra- sex trafficking, but why else would you have that lady up there talking about it? Right. And then right. advocating how like Tony Busby is this big, uh, uh, hero of, of helping out women involved in sex trafficking. And I was like, well, where in the hell are they going? And then I was like, oh, they, they're they trying to pin him with sex trafficking. And then, so I kind of wanted the legalities of uh, how they could do it. And this was the breakdown and this is maybe how they can pin them. Um, number one- Can I just say before you, oh, before, yeah, you yeah, get in, before you get into the uh, details? Yes, sir. And, and forgive me, cause my mind is kind of wandering. Cause when you say sex trafficking, it, it, T.I. is going through, <coughs> excuse me, T.I. is going through this same, they're accusing T.I. of yeah. sex trafficking. I, I, I'm sitting, and, and there is a, is a third person, I can't remember who the, who the celebrity is, but there's a third person who they are um, insinuating that uh, they sex trafficking. So I, I, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know what this new trend is. But uh, your, this this information is going to really help me for my psyche to try to understand what's what's the new way that they may be trying to uh, destroy the black man because this yeah. is crazy. And, and let me be very clear: if Deshaun did any of this and Ti did any of this, you know, bad. Try you, you need to get your shit together. But this seems like great timing that you know two of the biggest black men in america are being accused of sex sex trafficking like that's serious sex yeah, trafficking is, that's yeah yeah that's something and, that's something else hey maestro i think that third person you're referring to is matt gates understand. who is the um he's a congressman in florida if i'm not mistaken I think that might be the nah, third person that's, you're talking about. No, nah, okay, nah, nah. Okay, because they they trying but, to hem him it, up for the same thing. This is get this get nasty. Yeah, yeah, and, and see before man, like anytime I hear sex trafficking, I'm thinking like you know them picking up girls, putting them in a van, taking yeah. them to a room, like yeah, selling yeah. them. And yeah, that's what I thought sex tra- trafficking was until I got this information, and I was like, oh. Well, shit. Oh, my fault. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you good. You good. Oh, no, yeah. no. This is where you can talk. <laughs> you good. Okay. You good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm so used to being on uh, Facebook, man. We can't cuss. Yeah. But, uh, oh, for real? Yeah, man. You, yeah. The, oh, the studio, man. Yeah. I, it's, it's like a studio agreement. Like, we Oh, got you, got you. Yeah, I was about to you. say, I you have you. some kind of sponsorship I, or something. Yeah, like, sponsors you know, and yeah. stuff like that. So uh, I try to keep it clean. I got you. Yeah, no, everybody you, 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 know the old podcast, we went in. Like, no I matter hear, what, we I went Well, feel free to go <laughs> in for this next 30 or so minutes we got. Go in. All right, cool, <laughs> man. So this is the breakdown. This is what I, I found out, which I thought was kind of alarming. Uh, so I was like, I asked her and I, I asked other people, how can, you know, they provide, like, how can they pin him to sex trafficking? I said, all right, this is the breakdown. Number one because it's three different steps. Number one is recruiting. The fact that he reached out to these girls on Instagram, asking them to basically come to him for a massage where allegedly it would turn to sexual acts, that falls up under recruiting for them. 
Number two, transporting. That's what I left out on the other podcast. Mm -hmm. Debts, paying for Ubers, paying for flights. Like I said, Black Sports Online has a a photo of the actual flight that he supposedly uh, sent to one of the alleged victims. So that falls up under transporting. The number three, which is going to be the hardest to prove, is using abusive power of position or vulnerability for sexual exploitations. That's where Busby was saying that, hey, these women just need to work. They're single mothers. They need to support their families. And Deshaun Watson allegedly was using his position as power of an NFL player to force these women to do something that they, uh, quote unquote, didn't want to do. Um, so those three, and then you have the caveat under the state law, um, for sex trafficking, it does not require movement, but if interstate movement, that's when it can fall up under federal jurisdiction. So if he indeed flew this girl from Georgia to Houston, there's the interstate, that's when it can fall up under federal jurisdiction so tyler going back to the uber payments and and really Mm. in particularly you know flying from state to state there's receipts of these transactions or supposedly man um tony busby yeah if if he did yeah they're gonna be able to track it and busby is is saying that he has pretty much everything but you know it hasn't been turned over but from what i saw from the uh BSO report, you know, they have the screenshot of Hmm. the alleged DM of the plane ticket from one of the victims. Um, She said it. Now this, I'm going to get into this part. This is what I kind of reported on the podcast where I was like, all right, this shit ain't looking good. This ain't looking good. And this is all like the information that I got from uh, BSO and and other people just confirming it. Some of the DMs that was leaked. Um, one was the plane ticket to one of the accusers. Um, another one was, like I said, Watson was bringing his own tables from the Texan facility to women who wouldn't even license. That's another story for another day. Why are you hiring a masseuse that's not even licensed? Um, supposedly, there's a woman telling an accuser not to go forward with criminal charges. That can be damning. Uh, there's another woman, and it could be the same one. <clears throat> excuse me, telling the accuser that players just aren't used to being said no and to shake it off. Um, said Watson was telling an accused, one of the accusers that she should dress like an IG model for the session. Oh, um, yeah. The biggest one to me, which if they can prove this, I think it's game over. Mm-hmm. Uh, Josh Brooks, who wrote a letter in support of Deshaun, said she was caught in the DM admitting that she knew Deshaun was being appropriate during these sessions. And then you have Deshaun sending a um, NDA to one of the accusers. So that's what I found out over the weekend. And just that alone, that could be game over, man. Because what made me do the research was Nike and Beats by Dre back off. Yep. Yeah. I said, okay, if he's using, if he's losing sponsorships, Somebody knows something. Right. It's right. not getting reported, but somebody got it. Why are they just going to, they're not going to automatically drop you off accusations. It's, yeah. it's not going to happen. Sure. They got to have some information. So I think this was the information they got. Um, yeah, I think uh, another one was his quarterback coach reached out to one of the girls and was asking for the DMs because Deshaun Watson's girlfriend wanted to see it. I'm like, man, this is. This ain't good, bro. So it sounds to me like at some point, whenever they release this information, this is gonna go from civil to criminal. I'm I'm That's just in I'm my thinking. in my mind, I'm just thinking about at what if, point if all this is okay. correct, yeah. Damn. Okay. I I don't know if I'm asking the question for ignorance or for people or for or for viewers. Um at what's the exact point in your mind, Tyler, that this went wrong? Because here, here's what I'm thinking. Mm. Um, players like women. We could like we could we can't DM women. We can't like where like 
was was it a situation where he was DMing women for massages woo, 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 and they was like, nah, stop DMing me or like 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 if I send you a not you, but if I send a woman a a, a, a Uber because I DM DM her whatever I wanted to DM and she said she was down, I I fly you out. It I, I'm missing at that stage of it. Uh, I'm missing where he did anything wrong up until um, uh, uh, I, it's something you said specifically. Why am I? Uh, gosh, damn. Um, but D, for me, for me, um, DMs to mas- massage therapist, him shooting his shot. That that is in fact he just shooting your shot, right? I don't know. I, I, yeah, I okay. think, I mean, yeah, I, I guess sending the DM to massage therapist, that's that's perfectly fine because supposedly yeah, I, it was doing COVID and no massage place was open, so he, he was trying to get masseuse. Yeah. I just, um, I think it went wrong that, with him doing it. Yeah, I think okay. he should have had someone else uh, reach out to these women on his behalf or ha- have something set up at the team facility. Like, all these different locations and I think that was the mistake uh, of him going out and actually doing it and not having maybe his agent contact companies for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's and, and, where and, the mistake was made. And, 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 and let me, and let me clarify. Um, there is a, there is a, whether, and, and, and I, I don't know if it's, I don't know where it's legal or illegal. There is a, uh, a, I, I, and then I'm saying it out loud. I realize it's probably illegal everywhere, but it this happens where you could get a happy ending in the su- in, in parlors, and yeah. it that just be what it be. Um, I know because I know people who work in the massage in that in that industry, so I know that there are um, situations where you could get a happy ending in that, and and that's just what that is. Um, that's probably illegal. Um, I would have to imagine at this point if, if Nike is dropping out, um, dropping out and, and like you said, Beats by Dre is dropping out. I, I, I guess for my information, is that accurate? Is that the, is, is that where the problem begins? Yeah. Um, I think they're dropping out just because of, of the look, the number of women. Okay. Um, if you think about it, like look at, um, yeah. Robert Kraft, he had the exact same situation. At a, at a massage parlor, but it was only one situation. Uh, it was isolated. And, you know, his, his position of power it went away. But the fact that with Deshaun, it's alleged 22 women up to maybe 50 women. Yeah, that's nasty. Or, yeah, and PR-wise, they just can't do that. And the fact that those two women made their statements, I think immediately after that was when you started seeing Nike drop out with Deshaun White. Yeah, it was right after that. Beats by Dre back out of the deal. And I think he's with uh, Reliant Energy also. I think he had a deal with him locally too. They dropped out. So, Mm, mm, mm. you know. Yeah, he he lost three big time um, endorsements. Um, And you're right. It was immediately after they made that statement. But now that that judge has made it where all 22 accusers have to come public, this is where it's going to get interesting. Like, Man. If they're serious, they're going to go public. But if this is just a money grab, mm. they're probably going to fall back. And I think if you see some falling back, that doesn't help Tony Busby in, in their case because it makes it look fraudulent, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, right. Yep. So let me ask you. The, mm. <sighs> and this is like irrelevant. My, my. And, and this is irrelevant to this conversation. But the girl that spoke over the weekend, she ugly. Like I'm just in my head thinking, I'm like, just, like why? I mean, you're absolutely right. Like, <laughs> like, I, like, I mean, why? Let's, let's be a hundred here. Yeah, you're right. And if I'm an NFL player, I mean, come on, you know, it's it's IG models just throwing it at Deshaun. That's yeah. who he chose. Yeah. That's who. Oh he chose. my god. I couldn't help but so, think that. <laughs> how much? And 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 again, let me. I, I want to continue to preface that if he is guilty of any of this, he should pay his penance, and he and yeah. he should not do that. He should he should adjust his way of thinking and the way he go about things. Um, twenty two to fifty people don't happen in six months. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't. Like, 
Like they like it's almost like whoever whoever don't like the fact that he want to leave Houston mm-hmm. was just keeping the ledger on this dude. Like like yeah, set him up. Yeah. Yep. We writing yeah. it down. We writing it down. And the second you do something we don't like, i.e., I don't want to play for y'all no more. You better have your eggs and like, I, I, it's it's a teachable it's a teachable moment for uh, celebrities Absolutely. for people who people in high places as, as black men, a black or black women for that matter, but specifically to the subject for black men. Um, man, you got to be a one about how you move in this business because a this one. shit, this Absolutely. shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. He's doing, uh, he's doing things that a lot of people with money and influence do on an everyday basis. And for the fact that he don't want to play for the Houston Texans no more, allegedly, um, these things are coming out and all of a sudden he's the scum of the earth and, and all these things. And, and I, it's been happening since college and all this other stuff is, is, is being said now, it seemingly just because he don't want to play for the Texans no more. I, I would love to know the evil motherfucker that, that is holding all this information. And now that he's been rubbed the wrong way, or they've been rubbed the wrong way that they want to put all this information out in the media because um, whether he did it or didn't do it, uh, it's clear that somebody was withholding information about his activities and how he was living his life. And yep. that's not okay. Yep, the yeah, timing, the timing of it is definitely suspect. Yeah. There's no, there's no question about it. Whether he, whether he did or didn't do it, right? Because even yeah. if he's innocent, and he didn't do any of it. Okay, then it was a clean cut sabotage, uh, sabotage that somebody was putting in place with Deshaun Watson. But even, but if he did it, that means that um, I won't speak to the woman as to why they didn't come out and report it because women, that's you know, emotionally traumatized and they, they can come out with their traumas when they want to but for it to be 22 to 50 people means that somebody on the on the inside of that uh situation yeah. knew he was mistreating women and just didn't say nothing until he got mad at the Houston Texans organization and yeah. that in turn is wrong that means he had a pattern of uh inappropriate behavior that uh they just held because he was Deshaun Watson he was falling in line with uh, the program of being an NFL quarterback off the field. And um, when he pissed them off, it's like, all right, bam, you don't, you ain't fucking with us? Fine, we're going to bury your dumb ass. You're going to yep. go to jail, uh, possibly, because yep. you don't want to play football for the Houston Texans. That's disgusting. Yeah. I agree, man. And it's – I guess the question I have um, for Deshaun – is like why why hire this many females from Instagram? That's why are you hiring and reaching out to mm-hmm. them? Mm-hmm. Where's your agent? Where's your your team to do this for you? Like right. once you get to that level, man, you, you're top five quarterback in the NFL, hundreds of millions of dollars. Like you don't do nothing yourself. Like your name shouldn't mm-hmm. be attached to absolutely anything. Yeah, right. if you like massages, and I mean. Uh, Let's say you want a happy ending all the time. Well, you need to find one person that's going to continuously do that mm-hmm. and just keep that one to maybe two person. When he gets to 20, 30, 40, 50, then you start looking like they're going to paint you out as this predator. Yeah. Because yeah. then you got and then this my problem is, And then my problem is, is that now that it's all coming out, it's the idea that all everything that he has been doing for however long he's been doing it wasn't consensual. And that, for yeah. me is the problem and the narrative that is that is being pushed that he is doing something inappropriate and it wasn't consensual um that's a problem if it's true um but it's the problem i got a problem with him first and foremost but i got a problem with the people who know that this shit ain't consensual this shit is not a this is inappropriate behavior that wasn't approved by the other party meaning the masseuse the women um they didn't. They weren't okay with what they were doing, and nobody said, "Hey, Slim, Deshaun." They not okay with that. They don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. And, just, okay. that, yeah, and, and, no, and no, that, I was 
And it's funny that That's, the mm, Texans, mm, mm, mm. the Texans as an organization, they've been very quiet about this. A word. Like they haven't yeah. said anything. I, I, I haven't nothing. heard anything from anybody right. in ownership, you know, which to me makes them a little suspect in this as well. And I know that mm. early on when this first came out, there were questions about uh, Tony Busby's relationship with some of the ownership of the Houston Texans and how he's potentially a neighbor with one of the owners of the organization. And so that really kind of raised a red flag also. But I I said this on a podcast over the week that two things can be true at the same time. Um, Mm -hmm. The timing of this is suspect. It doesn't necessarily mean that Deshaun Watson is 100% innocent. It could just mean that, you know, he was doing these things and it just so happened that, the females that were affected by this didn't want to come out and say anything at the moment it happened, allegedly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and right. they just waited for that right moment, which was when Deshaun Watson decided, you know what? I don't like playing for the Houston Texans. Y'all going to have to trade me and do something about this. And I want to say one thing, too, about this. And I'm going to credit um, a young female who I was speaking to on this podcast last week. And she put it perfectly, man. She said, look. As far as business goes, and I'm just talking from the Houston Texans side of things, they could cut off their nose to spite their face. And guess what? Mm -hmm. They got enough money to where they could buy a brand new nose and a brand new face, and they'll just carry on with business as usual. Yeah. That's absolutely right, man. It's I question the timing of everything. Like To me, that's the biggest question I need answered. To develop a case like this it doesn't just come about overnight like to go from 22 to 50 women i don't care how many phone calls you made this is something that's been in development for a while yeah which means they already kind of had this in their back pocket yeah i'm not saying this is exactly what's happening this is just i guess my hypothesis that they've been building up this for maybe about a year since yeah. he initially started calling girls and they're just been tracking it and waiting for the right opportune time to release this information. As soon as he said, I don't want to be here with Texans, the information is magically released. It, it's something they've been sitting on for a while. They just haven't said nothing like every other sports organization. Look at Penn State University, how they didn't yeah. say nothing about Jerry Sandusky's sick ass. And yeah, you know, the the head coach who knew about it all. They just didn't say anything. They just yeah. covered it up. Yeah, you know. Yeah. When a, when, a, when a black man has that kind of power, and I, what I mean by that is Deshaun Watson got his bag right. So mm-hmm. he was making a power move. He wanted to get traded. He was a he's a top five quarterback in this league. He wanted to get traded to another team. This was one of the biggest off season topics in the NFL. And when I, when I look at something like that, where a black man is trying to make a power move, I think about Bill Cosby, right? And I think about how mm-hmm. he was about to purchase NBC Network. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, that would have mm-hmm. been like legendary. Absolutely. You know? mm-hmm. and, and, and look what happened. You know, allegations pop up allegations out of nowhere. Pop up out of nowhere from mm. 30, 40 years ago. Mm-hmm. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. imagine this, this, all this is just happening who knows, since he got into the league, you know, the last four years. The yeah. NFL, man, they, they have a, a very, and I mean, to me, it's documented. They have a very slave-like mentality uh, with yeah. the owners and the players. Yeah. That and was Bob in there who said that. <laughs> yeah, he the one who said it. Yep. Which yeah. was the owner of the Houston Texans. Yep. So mm-hmm. if you really break it down, and it feels like it's, I own you. You're not going anywhere yep. because I own you. They just gave him this contract extension, so they felt like they have the rights to Deshaun Watson. Deshaun wanted to prowess his power and say, you know what, this is not a good situation. You guys lied to me. I want out. In their mind, like, you're not going anywhere, mm-hmm. and I'm going to make sure of that. Let's drop mm-hmm. these allegations we've been sitting on for a while. Let's scare away all of these teams because of these allegations. He's going to get suspended. I don't know yeah. when they're going to put him on a commissioner exempt list, but they're going to suspend him for probably like five mm-hmm. or six games like they did mm-hmm. yeah. Roethlisberger and Zeke. Yeah. That's, that's going to yeah. scare away teams. And now yeah. 
Houston gets exactly what they want. They get more mm. years with Deshaun Watson. They are pimping Deshaun Watson, and it ain't no yeah. no never nice way to say it. They pimping Deshaun Watson. They set this that like, and again, I, I'm not questioning whether he did or didn't do those things. I know that whether he did or didn't do them things, they put it on paper, and this this that was the piece of paper that said, "Hey, go ahead, get out of line if you want." Yeah, and, and they're saying I, I read somewhere that he's the rumor is he's looking to settle. Uh, just to get everything out of the way. Mm-hmm. I want mm-hmm. this to go to court. I want, yeah, me too. I want a me jury. Too. I want some digging. I want to know what's the mm-hmm. Houston Texans involved. This clown of a lawyer, t- Tony Busby, who, like, he the one who put it out that he was neighbors with the Houston Texans. And now right. he's saying he doesn't mm-hmm. know anything about it. Yep. Uh, he claimed he doesn't really follow football, yet he put out all those billboards for them to draft Jenny Manziel. So to me, the dude is a liar. Yeah, he lied. Um, he lied about reporting this to the Houston Police Department. And, yeah. he, and even the Houston Police Department on Twitter came out and said that never had happened. Had an statement. So your, your yeah. credibility is washed. I need all this to go into court so everything can be brought out to life. I need yeah. a, a, a yeah. real investigation yeah. open. And if Deshaun is proven innocent, I'm suing everybody. I'm suing Nike too. Everybody. 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 I, I want it. all my money back from Nike and all the in, other endorsements who dropped me from false mm-hmm. allegations. I'm suing every single accused. I'm suing the shit out of Tony Busby. He, he'll mm-hmm. never be able to sue anybody again because I'm taking all this money. But, and if it, uh, an investigation is open and everything comes out of light and he's guilty, then you have to face the consequences. But yep. we we'll never know unless it goes to court. It's got to go to court. And I agree with you, Tyler. I want both sides to tell their stories. I want each side to get their opportunity at that. And whatever the result is, whoever's found guilty, they, they got to pay the price. Yeah. yeah. And we're not getting any yeah. of these damn Instagram uh, conferences, man. And I need to see evidence. Y'all talking about it. I want to see it. Where's the evidence? I mean, it, I, I, what I digged up, I don't really look at that as evidence because that could be anything. Yeah. I need concrete right, evidence. Right. You right. say you have it, Tony yeah. Busby, then, then throw the shit up. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 um, I agree with y'all that I wanted to go to court, but the, the, the thing that scares me about that is at the end of the day, Deshaun is still a nigga in court, man. Mm-hmm. And, 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 that, and, that, and that scares me. That scares me because... He's he yeah. seems it seems that he is being genuine about what's going on. He is truly the pawn in the situation. Like I feel like he, like I said, even if he did those things to those women, or even if he didn't do those things to the women, he was clearly set up. He was clearly he was clearly being put in a bag to say, hey, if you decide you want to get out of line or anything, this is how we're gonna bring you right back into mm-hmm. Right, right back into formation with what we want you to do as an NFL organization. Um, this, this, this stinks of systematic oppression. Whether he did or di- did or didn't do it, um, and I'm not saying he should be given a pass if he did it. I'm just saying that uh, whoever's whoever put him in this position to be set up to where it got to a number of allegedly 50 women. Uh, Nobody, nobody called foul on the play when it got to five. Nobody called yeah. foul on the play when it got to seven. I mean, much like if if Bill Cosby did anything to any of these women, nobody do a flag on the play. Yeah, and that's a prop. That's a problem. That's a societal problem. Um, but it lets me know that. Uh, this world is evil. Niggas be setting niggas up, B. Like, it, yeah, niggas it, be yeah. setting niggas yeah. up, and It's nasty. It's and they're going to try to portray it as uh, the women were scared. They yeah. were threatened. They didn't want to come to the authorities. I just find it extremely hard to believe that out of 50 women, hell, out of 10 women, not one of them yeah. decided to press charges after being violated. Like On that. a criminal level. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. find that hard to believe. They, they didn't tell anybody. Right, and I'll then even it, and and then let, and let's play the hypothetical game that everybody, all ten of those, all fifty, all ten of those women were scared or whatever. Let's say that that was true. 
none of y'all men that was involved that, that that knew what was going on nobody said nothing y'all i guess y'all was scared too or or, or yeah. everybody was a whole bunch of fucking yes men and, and and let deshaun watson do what he was doing for however long he was doing it to it got to a number of allegedly 50 women like that like that that's what always be missing me about these little situations it's like yeah. none of y'all everybody is just so content with uh getting the money and being quiet it ain't none of my business where 50 alleged women were violated come on yeah, man. And that's I, why, I, man, I just don't believe that yeah i, I want to see if this this thing with josh brooks is true if, if she actually said that she knew that deshaun was harassing these women and she didn't say anything after like trying to defend them yep to me that flips everything that yeah. that's really all they needed that that one testimony and then what's interesting too how much does the agent know about this also because yeah know, you got to know everything he's complicit he's complicit in this also like he Deshaun Watson's paying you to be his agent you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's like are you doing your job or are you just being around just to collect the paycheck yeah, because if, if Deshaun goes down, there got to be a trickle defect. Uh, it, it needs to be people within the Houston, Texas organization that has to go down yeah. as well because they clearly knew 100%. if he was taking um, equipment from the facility, I'm sure he can't just walk up in there, grab a table, and leave. That has to be uh, authorized through somebody. <laughs> right. Yeah. So who and authorized? Then, or, yeah. or who didn't author, who Or who just turned their back and act like they didn't see him walking out with a goddamn table? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, table and damn massage equipment. Like, nobody's going to question that. Man. So it has to be a, a, a long trickle effect if he's proven guilty. And do the Houston Texans really want that smoke? Yeah. Apparently so they, they do. Nah, Houston, Apparently they do. It's all kind of questions. Man. And I don't think they care. This is crazy. I don't think the Texans care. They probably don't. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, this, is a, this is a toy that the, the Texans franchise... This is a toy for them. They they don't care about how successful the franchise is, wins, losses, and you're right. Because look how they're running the organization. Right, right. All yeah, they, they don't care. Right. All right. they care about is white supremacy, power, and they're I mean, getting paid. Trey, that's they, what's happening. They're right, and the money, paid regardless. That's it. Yeah. yeah, that that that's it, man. Hey, Tyler, man, uh, we we appreciate you. Uh, Spending some time with us for the last. Oh, no problem, man. This was fun. Oh man, no doubt, yeah, no doubt, that man. That's crazy. Yeah, That's yeah. Crazy. Thank, thanks for sharing that information too. We yeah, no that. problem, man. Thank y'all for that. giving me another segment. All right, this, yeah, this yeah, is fun. Yeah, I, I really appreciate it. I got, I, I got to roll one and think about that, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I, I got to roll one and think about that, man. That that's crazy. That's crazy. One it's last, lot, one last time. Um, tell everybody where they can follow you and how they can, you know, follow your podcasts and your platforms. Yeah. Um, face. I tell everybody Facebook. Uh, you can go to Enough with the BS podcast on Facebook. Uh, you can go to Sports and Coaster Sports Media. Um, everything that I post, all breaking news, all the live podcasts, you'll be able to see there. Uh, we are trying to stay on top of this to shine watch some information. So any information I find goes straight there first. Right That's on. What's up. That's what's up. Hey, man, thanks again so much, Tyler. And uh, hope we'll have you back on again at some point later in the year. Yeah, just let me know, yes, man. I'm all on board. No doubt, no doubt. All right, man. All Thank right, you, fellas. No doubt. Appreciate you. No problem, man.